It's been 49 years since Travis Burkett has seen a piano, but in his business, and he's regarded as one of the best in his business, sight is not the most important factor. The 57-year-old Fort Worth man has been blind since he was eight years old, and it was at that young age that he began to prepare for the work that would provide a living for him and his family. Travis Burkett is a piano tuner, a job he's been doing and doing well for 32 years. When I got out of school and discovered I was supposed to make my own livelihood, I began tuning pianos. Well, let me ask you, does it take a special ear to know when B flat is too flat or G sharp is too sharp, or could a tone deaf person like me go out and become a piano tuner tomorrow? <laughs> oh, that's somewhat a hard question to answer. I get asked that almost every day. I would say you don't have to have an exceptional exceptionally good ear for music to become a piano tuner because tuning in itself is uh, setting the beats between intervals in the piano which anyone with a trained ear can hear and he doesn't necessarily have to know music other than the notes of course else he wouldn't know what note he was hitting or when to hit it, but uh, a good ear for music is not <clears throat> a requirement to be a good piano tuner, I would say. It helps. The Van Cliburn Quadrennial Piano Competition, one of the most prestigious musical events in the world, is held in Fort Worth. Travis Burkett has been the official piano tuner for that competition since it, its inception. And next September, when the fourth competition is held, Burkett again will take his position on the stage. Already about 900 persons have inquired about the competition next year, including persons from about 50 foreign countries. It will be Burkett's job to make sure the promising young pianist, as well as Van Cliburn himself, get the best possible sound from the 88 key instrument. My musical background was very limited. I took piano lessons when I was just a kid in school for two or three years. Of course, I know the value of notes and a general understanding of what music's all about. Now, I'm, I'm a good listener. I know good music, but... Burkett has been doing his job well. In addition to tuning for visiting dignitaries such as Roger Williams and Oscar Rubenstein, he also tunes for TCU and Texas Wesleyan College. He operates his business from his home with the help of his wife. She's my chauffeur, he said. He points out that in 1950, when the when he first moved to Fort Worth, the piano tuner received about $7.50 for one tuning job. And now a tuner receives about $17.50 for a job. On the average, he tunes about three pianos a day. Do you ever get tired of hearing B flat? Well, no more than A flat. 